I'm ready. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Ignite. All right. Star Trek is my most favorite TV show of all time. Great visuals, you know, great worlds. And the gadgets, they're just incredible. Tricorders, visors, phasers, you know, communicators. It was just incredible. Most episodes started off on the bridge of the Starship uh, Enterprise, and that's the command and control center. Look, look at those, look at those control panels. They're just gorgeous. I mean, the UI there was alive, and it, it made you feel like you were right there in the, in the action. Now, the system that they had was called LCARS, and they built it actually because they had no money. It was very expensive to keep creating knobs and lights and things like that, you know, for all the different sets, so they went with this. Let's take a, a little closer look at, at this uh, graphic here. Now, what you see here is that the control panels are really well grouped together, very simple. Uh, the colors are very muted, uh, and it's very simple, but look at that, it's just numbers. There's no text. So can you imagine that they are attacking and Captain Jean-Luc Picard says, fire photon torpedoes! And the guy says, uh, yeah, was that like 16, 35, 17? Or was, yeah, but, Kidding aside, it was really a good UI. I mean, you know, they kept it very, very simple. And you know what? The contemporary version of it, you see it in Windows 8. Same thing, <laughs> muted color, you know, very, very simple and, and nice. So uh, they, a, they did a good job with it. And I, I think uh, uh, the, the fact that it's contemporary is, is, is a good thing. Um, my lesson was that Keep it very simple. Don't use skeuomorphism, like, you know, fit full leather on your calendar and particle board backgrounds and all that, and use color for, for grouping. Now, uh, that's the, the best lesson I got from uh, about displays. Now, for the past decade, the industry titans have all, you know, trotted out one after the other, the tablets, gates, and jobs, and bomber. But you know what? They, they, they were beat by Captain Jean-Luc Picard long before any of these guys were there. <laughs> Picard had an awesome iPad. It was called the Pad, and it was a great touch device. He would get all his stuff done directly on there. It was just fantastic. It just worked. And my takeaway was that if you have a touch UI, you know, provide instant user feedback. It's like you touch it and you get some feedback. So the other thing I learned is that critical hardware functions, they should be uh, in the hardware and, and not really in the virtual device. Now, Another thing, uh, device you saw in Star Trek very often is the replicator, primarily used for food. The canonical example is where Picard would go and say, tea, Earl Grey, hot, and of course he would usually get his cup of tea, but you know, it's voice control and it wasn't always reliable on the show. <laughs> so, I, remember, I remember he had a potted plant once, you know? So th this voice problem was there quite often. It was sort of a recurring theme in many episodes. And you know what? This is something that is there in our world too. Can anyone say Siri? You know, it's really difficult to, to create user interfaces with, with voice. And that's why you see all these pro problems over and over again. People try, but they don't get it. My big takeaway about voice is that it just doesn't work. This shit does not work. <laughs> you know, maybe you can check back in like five years and yeah, we'll, 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 see, we'll, see, we'll see what happens uh, then. But for right now, it's not good. Speaking of not working, another thing that I noticed was the uniforms. Now, take a look at this. What's the first thing you notice? Uh, it's mostly men. Maybe what's the second thing you notice? Ac accessibility. How the heck do you go to the bathroom? <laughs> So, you know, but that's what they got wrong, but they did get something right. Commander uh, Jordi LaForge was blind, and he had this cool visor that actually allowed him to see things in the electromagnetic spectrum. And not only could he see, but he also had augmented reality. It was pretty awesome. Now, we've seen augmented reality in apps like Yelp, et cetera. You hold your mobile phone up, and you see you know, gas stations and restaurants and all that. And they really did a lot of that with Star Trek. A visor on Jordi was not the only thing. Another example that was really awesome is when, when Picard got assimilated by the Borg. Now, he did look cool in that. You know, a contemporary example of that is also Google Glasses. You know, and of course, there's Bluetooth headphones. I hope you are not one of those who wear those, because they are 100% dorky, man. So, what I uh, take away from all of this is that augmented reality really makes the world a more accessible place. So with UIs that, that are coming up now, you will see more and more of these. Overall, I learned a lot about UI from Star Trek, certainly not enough to talk about in five minutes. We learned about lots of species and lots of things, but the one thing I learned is that humans are very fallible, and as a designer, it's important 
to design for our imperfect species. Live long and prosper. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.